Hello and welcome to a new Lakeside Parkway video. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to have a look at uh, the Hornby HM DCC uh, 21 pin uh, decoder. Uh, it's a sound one, uh, so obviously we've got a Class 66 Hornby that we wanted to fit it in. So uh, now Hornby 66s have 21 pin. So yeah, so this is the box it comes in. Uh, quite a simple box. And it's all different information about the and in the box you get the decoder you get the speaker you get a load of different housings for speakers so it will fit pretty much anything i've got the biggest one just to give it some base uh because it will fit in the 66 but yeah uh the other thing we purchased was the power bank here uh so yeah, this will basically connect to the decoder, uh, no wiring, just a simple plug and play, um, and allow you to uh, basically get in uninterrupted running. Uh, yeah, so uh, also in the box, you get a load of information, which you don't need to read, you can work it out yourself. So let's have a look at the decoder itself. So this is it here in a 66. So as you can see, uh, it's 21 pin. Uh, what I didn't like is how close it was sitting to uh, the circuit board underneath. So I've got a bit of black tack and a bit of tape on top. But yeah, uh, so that sits on there. Uh, 21 pin. The um, power bank and the speaker just plugs in with little connectors here. And it's brilliant. Um, yeah, so let's hook it up onto the track. Uh, what I'll have to do, because the last video I recorded went a bit wrong, is I'll have to just switch it back over from DCC mode to uh, to Bluetooth mode once it's on the track. But yeah, let me get it on there, and I'll show you how the app works and how to upload profiles. So, get it put on the track so you got some power to it. Make sure it's on there properly. As you'll probably hear, the sound comes on, but uh, if you go on here and put it onto Bluetooth mode, uh, go down to here and you've got your volume settings. So obviously, the louder it is, the worse it's going to sound. Uh, so yeah, uh, what you do to add a profile is obviously connect it through Bluetooth, uh, which just works basically. Go to profiles here. You've got a load listed here. So I've, at the minute, got it on Classic 6, but you can change it to anything you like. Uh, but obviously for me, Classic 6 is uh, what I wanted on this one. Uh, I don't think I fitted that body quite right, but it doesn't matter for this video. Uh, yeah, so go across. There's, well, not hundreds, but loads of different profiles. 66, 31s, HSTs, two different ones. Uh, and loads of steam is uh, so I've actually spoken to Simon Kohler from Hornby and fingers crossed uh, there'll be a new uh, sound profile coming out soon uh, he's working for him he says but Pendolinos come on I've always wanted to sound fit Pendolino so yeah uh, put me on the list straight for that so after you select it it Installs the file onto the device, takes about 15 minutes. Uh, well, you just leave it on the track so you can grab a coffee or something. Go back, uh, go down to here, and then you go onto this here. And basically, this will allow you to control all the function. Obviously, engine start, uh, I already had it running, but you press that and it will start the engine sounds. You've got three profile, three pages of sounds on here which are all controlled through the app, or you can just control them through standard functions on a standard DCC controller. Uh, so obviously it's going through the engine start procedure. You got horns, but the thing I like about the horns is you haven't just got one horn. So the function does that. Uh, it sounds a bit tinny, but I think that's because I haven't actually glued the thing in there, so it's just resting on it. So I think it's rattling a bit. But yeah, uh, so what you can do with this, you can do one or two things. You can control it through the app. So if you go here, I won't run it very far because I, um, obviously uh, I want to keep it in shot. But yeah, so you just move it forward. 
it's got a brake function yeah or a complete stop and you can change uh direction so you go here and then you go like this and it will change direction you can do still do your functions and stuff yeah we stop that there so uh brilliant for that but i know a lot of people don't want the hassle of controlling it through this so if you go here locomotive settings and then you press dcc so that switches it over to dcc control so if we turn on the controller and this will be loco number three uh because in the name here our classics here, i've just kept it as loco three at the minute just for this test so uh obviously as you can see i've already got it selected on one for the sound but you press three and lights and all your um everything works basically uh so yeah so i think i just press throttle up here but you, what i like is that you can keep this app open so uh i know you can't i thought you could keep it over to the max but yeah all you need to do is keep keep a list of what functions uh you need so and then you can just control it from your dcc like a normal uh a normal train so yeah it's it's absolutely brilliant for the money of the year, so I think the chip cost me about 60 quid and the power bank was about a tenner roughly. Uh, but yeah, 70 quid for a chip with sound and all the functions this has got, I think it's brilliant. I know it hasn't had the best reviews, uh, but I think people are going to torn me. I know that's a bit of a controversial topic, but I really like it. Um, yeah, so if I the other advantage with the power bank is if you lift it off the rails, you can hear how long the power bank keeps the power for. And I've actually tested it against the Acura Scale 92, and this keeps the power longer. Um, yeah, so yeah, highly worth uh, getting, as you can hear, still going. Uh, I'll actually test it, it still keeps connection to the app for this long. Um, like I say, when you, obviously when you've got the motor running it, it doesn't last as long, but yeah, we've got to be on 20, 30 seconds now and we've still got power on it. Um, so yeah, uh, what's not to like about it really? Um, so yeah, it's the HM, there you go, it's just died. So what was that, probably 40, 40 seconds roughly? Uh, brilliant. So yeah, the, the HM uh, Hornby Dakota, uh, brilliant thing, recommend buying it. Obviously I got mine through Tony's Trains in rugby, but yeah, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, if you liked it, please uh, share this, uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you, take care, bye.